Good morning. Good morning. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you all are blessed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If the Lord woke you up this morning, then you are blessed. If he touched you, and that's what he did, because when you're asleep, you're in a state of comatose. Come on, somebody. That is a near death state. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So if the angel that was standing beside you, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And God said, touch her, touch him. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So we ought to get up giving praise. Go to beg giving and praise. Thank you for this food. Thank you for the shelter. Thank you for my limbs. Thank you I can speak. Thank you I can see. Gotta stay in a thankful state. I feel the power of God this morning. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. We're not in a thankful state body of Christ. We keep complaining, murmuring and complaining just like our last generations. The generations before us. God says that they kept wearing up because they kept complaining. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. So this morning, God was talking to me, said, Deanna, it woke me about maybe four o'clock. He said, I, I need you to tell them that the remnants must not fear. And I have to say some things and um, it's not a race issue. It's a real issue. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Especially for the black culture. From Trayvon Martin to Alan Sterling to even Joshua Brown recently. That was that's right. Assassinated. You can say what you want to say. Those are hits. God told me the enemy main focus is to keep you in fear because if you fear, it cancels out your faith. And if it cancels out your faith, because the scripture says that it is, um, if you don't believe you cannot receive, come on somebody. He said, now, therefore faith is the substance of all things that's in Hebrews. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Chapter 1 and 11. You have to understand what the enemy wants. He knows if he can move you out of faith. That fear will overcome you and fear paralyzes you, my people. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Fear paralyzes you. So God said the room that must not fear. You see a lay person that's not waking up praying, that's not reading their word, that doesn't have a relationship with God. Anything moves them. Y'all can see it in your family and friends, even maybe your spouses or your husbands or your children. You can tell. They have, there must be one person in the family that does not fear anything or anyone. I didn't say in a, a volatile manner because, you know, most people are getting angry and rage and that's how people get killed, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. I'm talking about you must have so much tenacity, so much God in you that you are like Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's why Jesus said, I, I must go because therefore the comfort, the comfortable will come. And which is the Holy Spirit. I'm a little hoarse this morning. Excuse me, y'all. I think y'all can hear it. And so as the comforter comes, the Holy Spirit, that means that he will bring you wisdom, discernment, strength, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Hallelujah to his name. Let me tell you something. Why do you think I'm so strong? And I'm not trying to boast or brag. I am an example. I carry a heavy mantle and there are times the enemy tries to get me to fear. He tries to push me aside. He tries to send people after me. It's a heavy walk. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just being real with you. I have no choice. Hallelujah. Cause this is how I feel. I don't know how you feel, but let me tell you my testimony. I didn't been through too much hell where I should have died. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Then to get here where God have blessed me. And I'm not talking about just prosperity or monetarily with life. And you think I'm gonna let the enemy just move move me the devil is a liar and you better understand we're in a fight we're in a street fight you want to know the truth we're in a street fight i'm gonna say it again we're in a street fight and anything goes baby why y'all think it's so hard being a christian is not easy especially in this society where they do not like jesus christ they don't like the name of jesus they don't like god come on somebody so you think they're gonna like you come on somebody hallelujah you better get strong, thus said the Lord. I'm going to say it again. You better get strong. How do you get strong, apostle? Having a relationship with God, waking up God, keep me throughout this day, praying to God, getting up and reading the word. But you see, I'm going to tell you what's the problem, God says. God says that we're feeding the flesh more than the spirit. See, whatever you actually meditate upon day and night, that's what you become. And unfortunately, most people meditate on, I got to get that money. I got to pay my bills. I'm serious. One thing about the old church, the reason why, and I'm talking about the biblical church, the one that we read about in the Bible. You know why they were so strong? Because they stay focused on God. Okay, we don't have this, but we trust God. Okay, we have this, but we trust God. We, we trust God. They love God for God. 
Most people love God for what he can do. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's why Satan threw Job up in God's face. God said, look at my servant Job, one of the most, um, you know, steadfast men of God, faithful men of God. And you know what Satan said? He said, let me touch what, what you blessing him with. And I bet you he'll curse you. And as you can see, the wife cursed, talking about curse God and die. But Job say, the devil is a lie. May I just receive good and not bad from his hand? And that's what some of us are at. When we are, when God allow bad things to happen or we don't have this or that, you will start getting like, okay, God don't love me and this and that. Start thinking all crazy because the whisperer, which is Satan, will send things into your spirit. You have to be, this is a spiritual warfare. You have to come up in warfare. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. God is not pleased with this church. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm talking about the pastors and the preachers that so-called have churches. Because they have not prepared the body of Christ for persecution and to stand. You can't stand with money. Money is not going to save you. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying this morning. Money not going to save you. Honey not going to save you. Funny not going to save you. The spirit of God and strength will save you. That will keep you strong mentally, physically, emotionally. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, even financially will give you wisdom and discernment. That's why people are not strong. What are you focusing on, child of God? What are you focusing on, man of God? What are you focusing on, woman of God? Let me tell you what the three things that Satan tries to put into your spirit day and night. Now, I'm going I'm to I'm hit that uh, rumor. Oh, well, I don't want no husband. I don't want no wife. You, you stop lying. God said it is not good for man to be alone. So that's why he hits us in that area of loneliness. If you don't have nobody, if you're single, making you feel unworthy or nobody wants you. No, you're hitting. You're hitting. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The only person supposed to see you for real is your soulmate. Everybody else, that's a lust. Oh, she fine. He fine. Good credit score. You know, they somebody. Y'all y'all don't want me this morning. Y'all don't want me this morning. That's what's going on. It's all about who is what and what they are and what they have. Oh, come on, somebody. But when it's about God, honey, I don't care what you have. If God put us together and it's ordained, we're going to do this thing with a little or a lot. It all depends on what we got. And we got God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You better start understanding what's really important. What we have is not as important as who we have. Oh, hallelujah. I just said something, people of God. We have to put this thing back on God. We have to put the foot. We were made to worship God, not worship the creation. We're worshiping idols, singers. M I I I'm serious. Everybody talk about Kanye. Y'all so focus on Kanye until y'all not focus on God. First of all, let me tell you something. That that's how you know it's out of order. Because God said, I'm a jealous God. God don't want nobody competing with him. That's why I don't even want to talk about the subject no more. Because there's nothing to talk about. God is a jealous God. Anybody that can get more, um, you know, glory than God, you all should know something off the top. So that's how I know we in an a, 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 um, apostate church. Because y'all worshiping everybody but God. He said, I made you to, I made you to worship me in spirit and in truth. So therefore we must possess his spirit. How do we respect, uh, we possess his spirit? Apostle Deanna Dixon, wake up basking in his glory. God, I love you. God, thank you. God, thank you. If you don't do nothing else, God is about you. God wants you to love him. God wants to meet you face to face. Don't you understand the enemy comes to try to take God's place in your life? So he'll send a man to where you start worshiping that man or that woman. Or you start worshiping that job. Or you start worshiping your looks. Oh, I'm going in this morning. Or you start worshiping your children. Or you start, you don't hear me. And then when God said, let me shake them up since they're worshiping that stuff. And that's when tests and trials come. And then you act like, oh, well, what's wrong? You know what's wrong. You put something before God and God is, I love God. God will wake you up. God said, okay, let, let, let me send a wake up call. Ha <laughs> ha, y'all don't hear me. Let me send a wake up call. And that wake up call will be one that hit you to the core of your spirit. Come on, somebody. We all know that one. And we'll start crying. Well, what happened? God, I was praying. I was fasting. God said, you forgot about me. You know what happened. You stopped going to church. Most of you, you will pray for a husband and a wife. And next thing you know, you put that husband and wife before God. I just said something. Or you pray for a home and now you 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 told you so busy entertaining people to your home, you don't go to you don't go to church or you don't get in your word. Because I'm gonna tell y'all something. We are the church. I, I never really bash churches because I'm always loved the church, but I think people not understanding what's happening here. God is God is doing a new thing in this hour, a new thing in this hour like never before.
God is calling people back to himself, not a church, not a man, not a woman, not an apostle, not a prophet. Don't y'all understand? Everything is out of order. People are actually glorifying and idling people more than God. And I don't see why y'all don't see that. And that's why we have a church that's out of order. We have a church that's not powerful. We have a church that have no word of God. Y'all so busy liking sermons and ooh, pastor tore it up. It's an entertainment spirit in the church. Everybody's being entertained. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Don't entertain me. Tell me the truth. Don't entertain me. Give me the spirit of God. Don't entertain me. Have you been with God? Because if you ain't been with God, you can't tell me nothing. Because straight up, that means that's your flesh. Hallelujah. And you don't need flesh. When Apostle Deanna Dixon get up in here, I, it ain't flesh. Because you don't need my flesh. My flesh will hurt you. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. Flesh will lie to you. Flesh will deceive you. But when it's the spirit of God, it hits your spirit. And it gives you something that you need in that minute, that hour, that moment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. You have to have faith like never before. The enemy is after your faith, child of God. And let me tell you something. What he's trying to do in this hour, that's why y'all seeing so much evil out in the world. It's trying to break your spirit as if God is not here. As if God is not existing. As if God cannot stop anything. Can I tell you what God is doing? The greatest, the greatest setup. Oh, come on, somebody. Remember Pharaoh? And I keep saying that on purpose. God allowed Pharaoh. Do what you're going to do. Don't you understand that God is doing the same thing in this hour? Enemy, do what you're going to do. And when I get tired, I'm going to stop it. Hallelujah. Because I am God. Hallelujah to his name. He's still God. I don't care if you have a thousand on the right hand, a thousand on the left hand. God say I'm God. I'll give you victory. I'll restore you. I'll keep you. I'll bless you, said the Lord. You better understand who God is. We church have forgotten who God is. That's why people get lonely, worried, scared. Come on, somebody in fear, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus, because you don't know who God is. That's one thing. When God saved me that night when I was trying to kill myself, and if you don't know my testimony, it's on my website. I will never forget that night. The enemy almost took me out of here, y'all. That's why I'm so passionate. That's why I thrive so much. It's not because I think I'm all, I love God because I remember when he saved me when nobody was there. And that's why it wasn't a man. Now there are sometimes God will use a man or a woman to get through to you. But it was God himself that came in that room and said, Deanna, I love you. I didn't see him at that time when I first um heard his voice. It, it was just a, a big old light that came in the room. And I remember I just fell to my knees. And, and for you that don't know the story, I was trying to commit suicide. I was 27 years old. Uh, Life was just, it, it's always been hard because I've, I've, I'm finding out something the more I live this life. If you're a child of God, the enemy knew who you were from birth. So that's why some of us been molested, mistreated, but that's still no excuse. You still got to you know, go through that and actually process and understand that you become better because God has made you stronger. Well, that's the same thing that God does. He allows the enemy to wreak havoc in our lives. But that's just to push us closer to him. So that night I was trying to kill myself. And I had planned it real well. Because see, when you're really trying to kill yourself, you don't tell everybody. You don't get on Facebook. That's attention. I'm just being real. And I remember that night, my boyfriend was going out of town because he had, um, he dropped them heavy trucks, the big trucks. And so I said, ain't nobody going to be here. I'm going to do it. And I got drunk as a cool bug. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I tell you one thing, when I put that gum to my head, I say, I'm out of here. And I was going to do it. I was not playing. And I never forget the power of God. It hit the gun out of my hand and I flew on the bay. Like it was, it was such a force that it instantly sobered me up. And when it instantly sobered me up, I remember I just fell to the floor and there was a bright light and I heard, Deanna, I love you. Deanna, I love you. And when I heard that, I knew God was real. I, I mean, I think we all know that God is real, but unless you have an encounter, come on somebody, there it is. After that encounter, I was never the same. But now there's a process because people don't understand. Y'all be thinking people get saved and they're supposed to be saved and holy right at that moment. There's instances when that happened. But for the most part, you got to walk out your salvation. You got to walk out and work it out. Oh, come on, somebody. It, it, it's just not instantaneously. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so y'all be kind of like putting down people. If it's authentic, it's a process. Hello, I just said something. That's why I'm tripping off of y'all talking about Kanye. If that, if that was real, Kanye be sitting himself down somewhere, re humble, repenting, and waiting on God. God, teach me how to do this thing. God, teach me how to walk this thing. He wouldn't be on no doggone stage. Y'all better quit playing with God, bro. Y'all better stop playing. Y'all playing.
Y'all playing. Y'all know what time it is. It's just that I'm going to tell you what's going on. People with money and success and a name. Oh, that must be God. What's God? That's what I want to ask you. Talk to me. Talk to me. What's God? The little God you talking about? The one that owned this world? Okay. All right. We on the same page then. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff real. You better get in your word this hour. I'm telling you what God say. Get in your word and have a relationship with God like never before. Stop putting money before God. Stop putting a man before God, woman. Anything that you worship more than God is your God, says God. Remnant, it's time for us to rise. Don't you be scared. And let me tell you something. I'm, I'm going to come as real as I can this morning. I don't like this present day church because of this. And, and I don't mean no harm because I love every last one of you, even the ones that don't like me. God bless you too. Because you're weak. You're weak. You don't want to die for nothing. We're going to die anyway. So I, I made it in my mind a long time ago. If I'm going to die, and I am, I'm dying for God. I'm dying like a soldier. I ain't scared of these people, man. Do y'all understand the warfare I go through? I'm talking about physical and natural and in the spirit. And I know they were trying to break my spirit. Let me tell you something. And I'm going here for a reason. The FB files were open on Dr. Martin Luther King. Catch this hint. Catch what I'm saying to y'all. I promise you before God, I feel like Dr. Martin Luther King up in here. There are things that I've already said. I ain't got to keep repeating it. And, and I'm going here. Because I don't have a choice. Y'all know they follow me everywhere I go. Y'all know my, my phones are bugged. Y'all think it's a game? Y'all know they come in this house all the time. And how I know, because ain't nobody here, and I hear doors slamming. I ain't crazy. I ain't on nothing. What you talking about? Come on. Come on. Come on. But I promise you before God, I get in here, and I pray, and I say, what? Let me tell you something. I even know my faith, and I'm going here. I don't know why God got me going. Maybe it's to encourage y'all. I know they're coming for me one day. But I promise you, I'm going to smile, and I'm going to say, what took you so long? Y'all been following me for five years. What's up? Let's do this. Hallelujah to his name. I'm going to be like Jesus. And I'm going to smile. And I'm going to say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Now send me home. Y'all think this is a game? This ain't no game. And the first thing they like to do when you know the truth, oh, they crazy. They paranoid. Well, y'all been doing this stuff since Martin Luther King. Do you know they had so much files on Martin Luther King that they, was, they told his wife, they sent pictures to his wife because they was following him. And you know, rumors have maybe he did have a affair. Okay, he's human. All right, that don't negate what that man did. But not only that, there's a part in the FBI files where they, they was pressuring him so hard, like bugging him and, and being in the house and all that stuff. They tried to make him kill himself. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. I don't know why I'm going. Maybe it's to encourage a lot of you because I don't just talk like this. I'm going to tell y'all right now, anything ever happened to me, Apostle Deanna Dixon would never kill herself and I would never do nothing stupid. I would never break any law or anything. So, because I know once they do what they do to you, they try to act like you committed suicide or they put so many rumors around like you was this and you was that and you wasn't who you were. I don't know why I'm saying this. Maybe it's for you all, but I don't just get on here and play games. I don't have time for that. But I promise you before God. I'm, I'm a soldier of God, and I'm going out like a soldier of God. I would never do anything illegal or hurt myself or anybody else. Point blank in the story. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all better understand what time it is up in here. All we did was trade places with Jesus, you guys. And yes, it could be very annoying, and it can be fearful. But when you get strong in the Lord, let's do this. God has been preparing me for death for years. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. For years. For years. That's why I just can't marry anybody. Because if he don't understand who I am, he going to run anyway. Talking about this woman crazy. Hallelujah up in here this morning. I'm on one. Yeah, I'm on one. I'm on one. This stuff real. You got to be so entangled with God to walk this walk. That's why most people can't do it. Because that's, that's too much pressure. But when we was out in the world, we did all kind of stupid stuff under pressure. Because here's the two things. Either you applying pressure or you under pressure. And I don't know about you. I'm not going to let nobody get me under pressure. I'm going to apply pressure to you. Come on, somebody. I'm going to apply pressure to you. Nobody. Oh, no. And, and, and that's how I get strong. I, I say, God, strengthen me. Strengthen me, God. Keep me strong, God, until the end. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. And, and, and I'm going very transparent. I hear God all the time. He said, well done. 
He said, and I'll be with you to the end. As long as God be with me to the end, I ain't scared of nobody or nothing. You better understand what I'm saying up in here. Children of God, it is time to be like our brothers and sisters. They were not afraid of anyone or anything. When they were stoning Stephen, he looked up and he smiled. He said, I see the glory of God and they were killing them. Y'all ain't ready for me up in here this morning. That should be our same testimony. The apostles, every last one of them knew they was going to die for Jesus. So, so my question, and I want to leave you with is, if you're a Christian, a true authentic Christian, how is it that you, how is it that you're running from death? How is it that you're scared to be who God have called you to be? Oh, they're coming. Oh, they're here. And they're going to do what they're going to do. It's, it's written. It is written. Remember when Jesus said, it is written. The scriptures must be fulfilled. We have a, a church that likes to live in a fantasy world. Oh, God going to come get us. If God come, I may say when he come. He ain't taking everybody. Because if, 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 if he take everybody, then who's going to be here to witness to the ones that are left? Y'all better understand. We, we, got a, we got a journey ahead of us until God come get us all. But until then, our portion is to stand firm. To be strong in the Lord. To not fear. To walk in love. Have I not commanded you in Joshua 1 through 8? He says it three times. Have I not commanded you to be of good courage? Hallelujah. And he says again, have I not commanded you to be of good courage? Hallelujah. Nobody playing. Woo. I, I, I didn't mean to come this hard this morning, but when the spirit on you, the spirit on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have no choice. Hallelujah. You're right, uh, Miss Barnett. We have to stand strong. And we have a church that I'm going to tell you why we weak because sins of the flesh. Most of y'all, and I'm sorry, I'm already out you. Might as well walk it. Most of y'all freaky. You got to ask God, God, take that lust spirit from me. So if you have that in your spirit, you can't heal nobody. You can't even, you're not even holy. Oh, oh, oh you, you got some stuff going on, but there ain't no holy stuff. You can't lay hands on nobody. Eyes, are, sins of the eyes, looking at pornos. Don't, let me, thank you, Lord. I hear you. Let me tell you the three things the enemy take out people with. Sex, alcohol, and power. Y'all ain't ready for me because everybody want power. And what does power? I want that top job. I want that top husband. I want that top. Everybody's looking for prestige. That's why. That's why this Facebook stuff could be dangerous. Everybody want attention. It's called the spirit of attention. Look at me. I'm somebody now. You were somebody before they even um, acknowledge you. Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. God ordained you. God knows who you are. God knows every hair on your head. Quit wanting the attention and just want God. Go after God. Run after God with all your fire but your heart. I owe God everything. That's why y'all see me go hard for the Lord. I know I'm not supposed to be here. I'm on borrowed time anyway. So when they come, whatever, whatever, I've been was supposed to be out here. But, but his grace and mercy said, not now in my foolishness. I almost got killed seven times out there. Seven. And I ain't talking about, I'm talking about guns to my head and the gun jammed. Don't play with me. And I, I'm so stupid at that time. I'm talking about, shoot me, shoot me. So how much more should I be afraid of death and I'm walking for God? Y'all better catch a clue what's going on because the enemy is here. The enemy is here and he applying pressure, y'all. Oh, come on, somebody. Them deaths that y'all hearing about, that's a setup. I'm going to tell y'all and I'm getting off of here. Martial law. Them are hits and some of them are real and some of them are fake. But they need that gun law to drop. You guys, I'm telling you right now, prepare yourselves. When that gun law drop, boom, martial law going to drop. And that's when they coming. Hallelujah. They're watching everybody. I ain't the only one. That, all these phones. You see, I never could understand when I was in engineering school going to DeVry. I, <laughs> I, did, I, I quit because, you know, praise the Lord. Y'all know. Y'all know I was a mess. But I will tell you this. I learned enough to where analog and digital is too different. Analog cannot be traced. That's why they trade. That's why they changed the digital. The enemy wants to be like God. They hear everything. They see everything through these computers. What y'all think? What y'all th what y'all think? What y'all think going on? Everybody is being followed. Everybody is being watched because when they do what they do, they want to know whose side you're on. And if you're a true Christian, you already red flag. I'm sorry to bust your bubble. Don't be scared now. Hallelujah. You better get with God. Yeah, come on, somebody. Y'all sitting up there playing that game. And the ones that's going to take the chip, you're going to take the chip anyway. And you know what's going to happen with you. Them people not playing. These people have been planning this since 1535. 
You think they're going to let anybody stop? They kill their own. So you know they don't, they don't care. And and so we got a, a nation now that walks in fear. You got to have faith, but you can't do it by yourself. You got to get close to God. God, keep me strong. That's how I could walk this walk. The average person, I'm telling you what God just said yesterday, would have been just, they couldn't walk this walk. They couldn't. God, God, I was listening to something yesterday, and it says, most people that have went through what you've went through have lost their mind, but God have kept your mind. God have kept you pure. God have kept you. God keeps you. You can't do this by yourself, people. So that's all I got to say. I know it was a lie. I wasn't trying to do all that, but the Holy Spirit, shoes. That's what I'm saying. You be, we, we really think we're in control. I laugh. I laugh at people that think they're in control. We are just little children. And guess what? There's a spiritual being, God or the devil, that's pulling our chain. Now, what's one pulling yours? Period. End of story. I don't care what you say, y'all. No, it's true. The Holy Spirit is in control. So either you're working for God or you're working for the devil. And, and pretty much the line is being drawn right now. Hallelujah. We know who's who. You better know. By wisdom and discernment, said the Lord. All right, so God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I know this was a heavy one. I wasn't trying to go all the way here, but one thing I've noticed lately, especially lately, if you notice he's been making me tell a lot, it's not because I have a loose tongue. It's because he said, Deanna, because I asked him the other night, oh, I have to ask him. I said, God, why? He said, because I want them to know the truth. So when things happen, they can stand on the truth. You can't stand unless it's truth. That's why he says, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. So many pastors and preachers are ashamed of the stuff that they go through or went through. How would the people know to stand if somebody else haven't been through it? It's time out for the facades and like everything is so beautiful. <laughs> Reality is not. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.